Hallelujah. Each of you, what a precious time this is. This, uh, this time is. This is a time where we change our life. So each of you, in your life, in John 14, 12, Jesus has said, Do you believe me? Do you, if you believe in me, then greater works than me will you do. So Pastor Park, even uh, what Jesus did not do, the Ursan whaling fish miracle, uh, uh, when I go throughout the world where lame people walk, it's continuing to happen, even now. And the, and the miracle of the yellow corvina, one person catching all the fish of the season. Where does it say in the Bible that it won't work? Each of you, you have gone to where things have not, where it will not work. You have gone that path and you have done the deeds where it will not work. But it's all bound to work because Almighty God, He does it. Because He who is Almighty, He does it. That's First Peter 5.10, God Himself. He will make things work out for us. So therefore, for everybody, it will work out. If perhaps it's not going to work out, then, then they're stronger than God. There's none like that on this land, on, on earth. So you want to do well, right? Every time you pray, when you don't receive answers to your prayer, then why do you pray that prayer? We all have to receive the answers to prayers. So let us first pray. Lord of blessing, my ancestors, iniquities, and my own sins, this hour, these sins, it's killing me and making me like, uh, like a beast. Ephesians 2.1. According to that verse, we, I'm dead again, Lord God. The blessings have come before me, but it has been nullified and gone away. Because you said it as because the price of the sins of our ancestors help us to realize this and thoroughly repent. That help us to be individuals who receive all the blessings by the sins of my ancestors and my own sins. I have been dead, but to be made alive, it's God's mystery, the mystery of Christ. For step repentance, only through that can I be made alive. So here today, According to your words, let the miracle of the dead being made alive happen today. Help those who have given in tithe, let the gates of heaven be open, and that they'll receive answers to prayers. And the building of the, the those who are offering for the building of the church, through the help of the Lord, help them to change their fate. Those who, the hands that have given in thanksgiving thirty times and greater to infinity, according to your promises, help them to receive that blessings and be able to handle it. And help them to, the blessings on, let it go down to their descendants. And that help them to live a life content before you. In the name of Jesus, and thankfulness and blessings I pray. Amen. Now, each of you, First Peter 4.14. These words, up until now. What words are these that you are nourished by? That you are a blessed person. Let's read that one more time. True, it is true that you're a blessed person. When you become a blessed person in this world, the even the unlucky people, there are many people who are unlucky, in other words. So according to these words, if we follow according to these words, we become a blessed person and receive blessings. Not only that, that person is the one who receives the Holy Spirit. So those who have not become a blessed person, even if they're a pastor, they cannot receive the Holy Spirit. It's recorded. Let's have proper realization of this. So just because they're a pastor or a theologian doesn't mean that they receive the Holy Spirit. That's not the case. You have to be a blessed person to receive the Holy Spirit. This blessed person, the demons will insult them for sure. So Matthew chapter 5, 1 through 10, after you receive the eight blessings, the demons, they even make lies to insult you. So we did not, they did not do it to us. You may say that's why you're a fake church. You, the fake church that's like demons, the demons will not insult that fake church. That's John fifteen nineteen. It's recorded there. So those who are heavenward bound, only those, those who have become God's child, they insult. So therefore, you attend church. They talk about the eight blessings, but you only heard of it, but you have never received it and never have done it. So you have not received the eight blessings. You become a person that's not blessed, that's unlucky. You become, you're an unblessed person. So here today, you attend church, whatever it is, God Romans 8.32, he says he wants to give it all, he will give it all to us. So, I'm not a God according to what you think, but rather he is, I'm God Almighty, he says. Genesis 17.1, also in seven, Psalms 50 verse 1, he says, I'm God, I'm Jehovah God Almighty, he says. 
So that means that everything will happen for us where there's with no exception, where it will work and you be a witness where it has worked for me in this way. That's Luke 24, 48. Be a witness of the miracles happening in our life. You attend church, sometimes you think it's working a little bit, but it doesn't work. Even the demons, when they're eating, for them to realize and repent, don't mistakenly think that that's answers to your prayers. Matthew 5, 44, 45. Don't think that if you're wicked, that you're receiving answers to your prayers. If you, if you go to a fake churches, you receive uh, uh, what looks like a tiny bit of answers to prayers. But even those who, who have demon inside, when they have realization, God feeds little morsels for the demons, uh, those who are demonic, to receive blessing, to have realization and come towards him. Matthew 5, 44, 45. That's not real answers to prayers. What you have not heard, water turning into wine, the lame walking and uh, lame getting up and walking, what you have not imagined. 1 Corinthians 2, 9. What your eyes have not seen, what your ears have not heard, what your heart has not thought of. Receiving that kind of blessing, that's the blessings of God, not some, not the little tiny amounts here and there. If you want to receive answer, you want to pray and receive answers to prayer, say amen. We're here to receive this blessing. Do you say amen? The fake, you go to the fake churches, there's so many of them. People don't know which is the fake or the real church. They just go anywhere. And even the pastor there or the elder there, they're long-time believers. They're like that, you may say. But th that's why they're fake. Receiving answers to prayers, God gives answers to prayers right away because he is almighty. He gives, answers our prayers right away. Those who are sick, raise your hand. Those who are sick or diseased, those... The fact that you came here because you're sick, good. Today, this early morning service where we receive powers, you'll be healed, right? You can be healed right away. Wherever I go in the world, even in Africa. So it was pouring on, money was pouring on, pouring out. So when I went there, they said to me, Pastor, there's a famous pastor that came a few days before you. So everybody made the offering. There's no more money for them to make an offering. I said, let's see when miracles happen. So they said, gold rings and all that, they were making offerings, even a whole basket full. And the pastor was so, of that church was so surprised. What would not come out? What would not be offered? So when he saw that image of that, the person from North Korea, he went to Africa, he was the youth members that were on a visit they said they wanted to be a pastor as well they said before you become a pastor pray why don't you receive praying with the laying on of the hands when i did that they all they were all on the floor crawling what's it saying like almighty god he will do his miracles here even now so you and me we came here to have healing of disease and sickness the sickness that you came is because sickness came to you because of sin. Psalms 103, verse 3, according to that. When we resolve the issue of sin, your sickness will be healed. So therefore, he who gives us strength and power, this message from early morning service, when you do that, you'll all receive the power, spiritual power. Receiving spiritual power, God wants to give it to us. He wants to give it to the disciples. He so therefore so that they could be a witness of the living God. So this inadequate servant, I received that, and that's how I travel the world. This hour, each of you, starting from you, that you will receive this, and if healing of disease, resol resolve your problems. We came here and to have answers to our prayers, receiving this. Let's surely receive this and do well. We came here to receive, to, to, to do, do this, this. Not that you had extra time. So I ask of you, so starting from early morning service today, our church, uh, each day, we have to give worship service at least three times a day. In the afternoon, people go to work. So those who are only those who are here, we share the word. Those who come here, Psalms 55, verse 17, God's command that we have to eat his nourishment three times a day. These words, Deuteronomy 8, 3, the person who's a proper human being, these words, it's their nourishment. But those who have not been a proper human being, they're more like dogs and pigs, then these words are not their nourishment. How do you become a proper human being? My mind and my spirit has to be revived. My spirit and my conscience has to be revived. Psalms 19, 7. You go to church, you don't even know about spirit, saving the souls, the spirits. They're all fakes, selling the name of Jesus. So that's they cause factions and divisions only. And they're of the flesh, surely hellward bound. And 
not only do they, God does not give the Holy Spirit, nor can they receive it. When they don't have the Holy Spirit, they only have demons inside them. So whenever there's a meeting, they argue. And if you argue, even the listeners fall into ruins, right? So, and yet they call that a church. That's not the case. So let's come to our senses properly. So here, God said for us to be a blessed person. The person that's not blessed, then they're not, they're unlucky. Nothing works out for them. So a blessed person, what happens to them? Let's read one more time. First Peter 4.14. 4, if you are reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. Amen. Now, in the beginning, when you be, from the beginning, if you want to be a blessed person, what do you have to do? If you do what? How do you become a blessed person? When somebody insults you. When people insult you. Who insults you? Who insults who? What's it? How is it written here? Who insults who? A church where they have no Christ. They, if Christ is not there, it's a fake church. That's why the churches of this world, in the, recently in the past year or two, they all say Christ, Christ, because they don't want to be a fake church. But if they say Christ, who are the workers of Christ then? What do they do? First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1. God's mystery, those who have God's mystery, they're the ones who are the workers of Christ. If you have said Christ, then you have to have the mystery of Christ. Then let's come forth. You talk about Christ and you don't do the mystery of Christ, you don't do forced step repentance, then you're fake. God's word, you have not done according to God's word. You have not, not followed it. So that's why you pray. It doesn't work. First Corinthians 4, 1. Let a man regard us in this manner, as servants of Christ, as stewards of the mysteries of God. Amen. So, if you have said, said Christ, if you have Christ, Christ is the head of the church. Christ is the body of the church. So, if you have Christ, then you are the ones that have, you have the mysteries of God. Why do you do not do the mystery of God? Because that's that's lies. In other words, where there's no mystery of where there's lies, it's not a church. And yet, some people blanketly say it's a church. When you have a demon inside, you go sit anywhere. You fall into ruins. Your children to the third and fourth generations, you're killing them, and that's how it ends. Conversely, if you become a blessed person, Exodus, uh, uh, Exodus twenty verse five and six, your children to a thousand generations will be blessed. Not for a hundred or two hundred generations, but thousand to ten thousand generations will be blessed. That's how your children and descendants will do so well. In other words, he is everlasting, the blessing. Be a person that receives that blessing. So, the Holy Spirit, who receives it when you become a blessed person? God gives the Holy Spirit to them. If you have not become a blessed person, God does not give the Holy Spirit to. That's Jude one nineteen. So that's why each of you, you have not received, those who have not experienced the, receiving the Holy Spirit, they talk about the Holy Spirit. That's why Jude one nineteen. Did you cause factions and dissensions? No way that God will give you the Holy Spirit. But factions, they're not, they're, they have the Holy Spirit. That's a lie. Why go around telling lies like that? If you tell lies 100%, you're hellward bound. The sin's coming out of your heart. Matthew 15, 19, it's recorded there out of the sins coming out of our heart. So, whether they do that or not, we have to receive answers to prayers. A blessed person, how are they insulted? When are they persecuted and insulted? Through Christ. In the name of Christ, they're insulted. Through Christ, they're insulted. So, each of you, you talk about Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. You say this. When you say Jesus Christ, Jesus or Christ is on my side. Which is it? First Timothy 2, 5. When you look there, Jesus is on the side of God. On my side, God's mystery, where we have to repent, Christ is on my side. Through the blood of Christ, we receive forgiveness of our sins. No matter what sin it is, when we go into Christ, we receive forgiveness of our sins. Ephesians 4.32. So when you go into Christ, go, that's, that's the mystery of Christ. That's Colossians 1.27. Going into Christ is the mystery of Christ. So mystery, who... Who are the ones that are insulted in the name of Christ? That's the blessed person. If you have become a blessed person, the already Christ, the mystery of Christ, through his mystery, you're already a person that's insulted by the name of, through the name of Christ. So who are the ones that are doing the insulting and who are the ones that are being insulted in the name of Christ? When you do for self repentance, you do for, in the name of Christ and you're insulted. What's the difference between those who are being insulted and those who are not? That's the first. We have to do that. You have to be insulted for, in the name of Christ for you to be a blessed person. Those who are not insulted, they're a fake church. They have demon inside. They receive curses, calamities. Their children to the third 
and fourth generation. You, you're killing them and they're hellward bound. God says they're the unlucky person without blessings. It's recorded there. It's not recorded there. You may say it's you have not done it. So it's not. So without being a blessed person, you're in other words, you're unlucky person. You're not a blessed person. We're here to be a blessed person. A blessed person in the name of Christ. They have to be insulted for them to be a blessed person. Why? In the name of Christ, are you insulted? Every time you pray, you receive answers to prayer. This is where things become different. You become different. In the name of Christ, who is the person that's insulted in the name of Christ? John 15, 19. Let's look that up. So therefore, where there's no forced of repentance, the demons... We're all, you and I are all the same, so they don't insult you. You and I are the same. So Matthew fifteen nineteen is recorded here. If you're a blessed person, a blessed person, through God's mystery, four-step repentance, cr through Christ, four-step repentance, you're a person that's insulted. The person that's insulted, they're the one that has received all of the eight blessings in Matthew 5. This person that's insulted through Christ, they've become a son of God, a child of God. So Galatians three twenty six. So through Christ, we become a son of God, a child of God. Through this mystery, we become a son of God, a child of God. The four-step repentance, mystery of Christ. If you don't have that, you don't have a way to become God's child or receive forgiveness of sins. You're all unlucky person. You attend church, but you're all, all hellward bound. They're children. They're all hellward bound. They're children. The third and fourth generations will fall into ruins. Look at their household. It's been like that already, those kind of households. Not only that, even though they pray, they don't have answers to prayers. Here today, through Christ, those who are insulted, whenever they pray to God, they're the person that receives answers to prayers. So when you attend church, you go to receive answers to your prayers. Not that you don't want to receive answers to prayers, but you receive curses, you're in the snare of the devil, you get sickness and disease, your children to the third and fourth generations fall into ruins, and your seeds dry up. Nobody goes to church to do, for that to happen, and yet they're going around doing deeds like that. Let's live life properly. How much so it is that God's mystery forced our repentance. Colossians chapter 2 verse 2 and 3. There's the wisdom that leads to heaven and the knowledge that miracles happen even now. And the hidden treasures that you want so much, it's all there. And yet, Why is it Colossians chapter 2 verse 2 and 3? You know why I've written it here? So that you will not be deceived. That's why he wrote it for us there. In verse 4, it's so that we won't be deceived. So the sermon without Christ. Have you done it? Is it philosophical, even if it's biblical? No matter how much they sound, it, even though you have so many PhDs, the message without Christ is deceiving all the souls to hell. It's a fake message. Be careful of this. That's Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. People don't even know about heaven and earth, and yet they say they're going to heaven. Let's see what happens when they die. How are they going to go to heaven? Still here today, not only that problem, but whenever they... Whenever you pray, receive answers to prayers. John fifteen nineteen. Now, why are we insulted in the name of Christ? Every time we pray, God, he answers our prayers. So the demons, they get jealous and upset. That's why they will insult you. The demons will insult you. Those who insult our church, you can realize they have demon inside. That's for sure. So that household, their household with their children, it's all in shambles. Those who insult our church, those who are in the... It's exactly according to the Word of God. Romans one thirty. those who criticize and gossip about others, judge others, and, and censure us, that household, their children to the third and fourth generation, they'll be worthy of death. In verse 32, it's recorded there. They're worthy of, worthy of death, and they're uh, guilty of that sin. The person that insults others, they themselves, and their household be becomes shattered and in shambles. If, if that person is the pastor, is a pastor, then that... Second Timothy two fourteen. That church, it's already, it's all hell we're bound. There's, it says, be be wary. Those who argue, even the listeners, fall into ruins. That's the person that is unlucky. They gather together. They're selling the name of Jesus. That's the fake church. Each of you, be a blessed person. Whenever you pray, receive answers to prayers through Christ. When you're insulted. Whenever you're insulted in the name of Christ, your prayers will be answered. You're here to receive this blessing. When you're insulted in the name of Christ, you'll receive answers to your prayers. John 15, 19, let's read that. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, because of this the world hates you. Uh, amen. Amen. The world, the demons, if you're part of that, the demons of the world, they won't insult you. 
So, you and I, you, you may say you're a pastor or a elder or a deacon or seminarian. You and I, we're all the same demons, so they won't insult you. Among demons, they don't insult each other. But if you, if you wear what, do they insult you? When you are chosen, when you're chosen by God, then they will insult you. So each of you on your path to heaven, first, you have to be called. Second, you have to be chosen. That's how you go to Second Peter chapter 2, verse uh, Second Peter chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. People attend church. They don't know about being called or being chosen. They're fakes. If you're called, God calls you through God's mystery, four-step repentance. You're chosen when you're properly doing four-step repentance. The Lord, when He, the Lord is w with us, you and I, then that's when we are chosen. That's when we become a chosen person. If you don't even know the Lord, those who have not even done four-step repentance, and they say, Lord, Lord, where lies... Where are they making lies like that? For step repentance, Christ is the Lord. Matthew 16, 16. The Lord is Christ. Lord, thou art the Christ. For step repentance is Christ. That's the, that is the Lord. So those who have not even done for step repentance, they're saying, Lord, Lord. They'll be hellward bound. They're killing their children. Whatever they do, they'll fall into ruins. It's not going to work. And yet they're doing politics and they talk about economics, uh, such and such. So God is surely telling us, when you are chosen, those who are chosen, the demons will insult them. Those with demon inside, how are you Cho chosen? Through the mystery of Christ, you're chosen. So, God's mystery, the mystery of Christ, worse than repentance, when you do that, the demons, from curses and calamities, and you're get killing the children to the third and fourth generations, and suffering from bad disease, we, who are hellward bound, oh, that's, that child, that person, they heard for their repentance, they've changed into a child of God, they're called into a child of God, they get envious, they get jealous, so then they insult you. Verse 19, let's read that one more time, Matthew 15, 19, who is the one that had been chosen after you are chosen? Which demons will insult you? Let's see. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, because of this, the world hates you. Amen. The whole world, John fifteen nineteen, it's part of evil and wickedness. You and I, through this mystery, we are part of God. So here, there's a distinction between a wicked and a good person. The world is part of the wicked and evil person. So you and I, through the demons, God's mystery in our church. Without, we don't have the mystery of Christ, the mystery of God, force the repentance. We won't. They won't insult us, but we would be the same as them would be just like them with curses and calamities being hellward bound, their children to the third and fourth generation, all being unlucky and having sickness and disease. We'll be all be sick and dying together. So then they won't insult us. But when we're chosen, they insult us. Why do they insult us when we're chosen? Romans 11, 7, let's look that up. Only those who are chosen, they receive answers to prayers. That's why they insult us. So therefore, if you attend church, if you don't have forced that repentance, you're not chosen. You're not insulted. That kind of church. They're all hellward bound. Their children to the third and fourth generation are unlucky and receive curses and calamities. They won't insult you for, the, but conversely, they don't, uh, but they don't insult you. But conversely, you'll have curses and calamities on earth. You pray. There's no answers to prayers. You're all hellward bound instead. He, we're here to receive answers to our prayers today. As a blessed person, let's become that, a person that receives answers to your prayers. First, a person that is blessed when they're insulted in the name of Christ. Why? Because we're chosen. We were not chosen. There's no re reason for them to insult us. So each of you, something's not working out. So unlucky. Is your health not good? Your children, things aren't working out for them? From an unlucky person, let's change into a blessed person. That's, if you want to be a blessed person, change into a blessed person, then miracles will happen. Miracles will happen. Your children's problems will be resolved. We're here to receive that blessing. Let's receive that blessing. Let's receive answers to prayers. Do you say amen? Let's all receive answers to all of our prayers. So let's read one voice. Romans 11, 7. Those who have not been chosen, their hardened heart, their they don't receive answers to their prayers. Those who have not cho are not chosen, their conscience and their mindset, they're so dirty. And they only have demon inside. They're living with curses and calamities. When we read that, it will be showing. It will be shown. What then? What Israel is seeking, it has not obtained. But those who were chosen obtained it, and the rest were hardened. Amen. The rest were hardened. 
and they were the conscience was here. They're so evil and wicked. Those who have, don't receive answers to prayers, they're wicked and such dirty individuals. Today, the Israel, it's not that Israel is receiving answers to prayers. We talk about the layperson. No, the sins continues to come forth. We think we're so good. No, forced their repentance. There are many dentists in our church. When you go to a dentist, uh, you spit out all your spit, but uh, saliva continues to come out. But you have to continue to take out saliva. Saliva continues to come forth. You believe once, you don't have to believe again. That, that's the words of demons. First Timothy 4, verse 1 and 2. When, when your faith departs, the demons enters. And when you have demon inside, you don't want to go to the proper church. The unlucky person, they come here. They come here and they depart once after they come. Galatians 1, 6, that's strange. You have been taught the right way, and how do you quickly depart from this? And yet, you are an unlucky person, you and your descendants, the third and fourth generation, with curses and calamities you're suffering. And you'll just be end up in hell. You suffer so much and end up hellward bound. Let's not go that path. That we'll be made alive, that our children to 10,000 generations will be saved and blessed. Let's only go that path. Let's go the path of properly do, living a life of faith. You say, Amen. What is it that you have prayed? You didn't receive answers to prayers? You prayed and you did not receive answers to prayers. What is it that you have not received answers to prayers? In other words, you have not been chosen. So you force that repentance. If you do the mystery of Christ, the demons will insult you for sure. Why do they insult you? Because you have been chosen by God. When you're chosen, what kind of prayers? What will happen to your prayers? You receive answers to your prayers. So each of you, you attend church. There's no answers to your prayers. You may say, hey, demon, when? Where have you been chosen? You have not been chosen. That's why things don't work out for you. How are you chosen then? Through what? When you're insulted in the name of Christ. The demons know like demons and they will insult you. So each of you, when you properly do force their repentance, you become a blessed person. Whatever you pray for, you'll receive answers to your prayers. You, be, you have to be a blessed person for God to give you the Holy Spirit. If you have not even become a, bl a blessed person and you go around telling lies, saying you have received the Holy Spirit, there's so many fake Christians like this that's going around lying, saying they received the Holy Spirit when they have not. So each of you, when you don't receive the Holy Spirit, starting from the demon inside you, it won't depart. So Luke 4.35, according to that, when the demon inside you doesn't depart, you don't have healing of disease and sicknesses. So therefore, you have to receive the Holy Spirit for you to be a blessed person. When, where? When you're insulted in the name of Christ and you're chosen, what if you pray, you ask, receive answers to prayer then? That's when you become a blessed person. When you are a blessed person, you receive all the answers to all your prayers. Conversely, that's when you also receive, uh, similarly, you receive the Holy Spirit at that time as well. When you receive the Holy Spirit, that is love. If you have received the Holy Spirit, there's a sign. L love comes forth. Galatians 5.22 the first fruit of the Holy Spirit is love. The love, love will come forth. Not only will love come forth, if you have received the Holy Spirit, you have become a blessed person. Ephesians 4.32, uh, 4.3, without factions and divisions in the church, you become unified as one. You have received the Holy Spirit, and you have factions and divisions. That's a lie, then, in other words. God has recorded it here. So, factions and divisions in the church, no matter how much they try, Jude 1.19, they, God does not give the Holy Spirit to them. Those who have not even received the Holy Spirit, and God, that's the factions and dissensions of the church. God has recorded it. Why? Because factions and divisions in the church, that leads to hell. Proverbs 18.1, because of a small greed, we make factions and divisions in the church. When we make factions and divisions, 100%, surely you'll be hellward bound. That's why God, the true wisdom, the real wisdom, we don't want to hear it. Heaven, we go to heaven through through wisdom, through God's wisdom. So when you go to listen to a message of the wise, you'll go to heaven. When there's wisdom, your descendants will go to heaven. You become a blessed person. If you hear the sermon, that's not a person from the sermon of the wise. You will lose out. You will be shortchanged. You won't even break even. That's Proverbs 13.20. It's recorded there. Let's live life coming to our senses. Be on the alert. Let's not go the path of being, falling into ruins. Let's only become individuals who are blessed. So when we are chosen and receive answers, uh, we pray. They're the ones that receive answers to prayers. Who is the blessed person? The person that receives answers to prayers is the blessed person. Starting from that, we have to do that for you to be a blessed person. When that happens, then you receive the Holy Spirit, become person with love. So the person with love, you may write poems. And they talk about 
people talk about love and writing stories about Jesus, but the, the love of dog and a pig is not true love. When you receive the Holy Spirit inside you and cast out demons, then that's the love of a proper human being. The person that's a proper human being has the love of the Holy Spirit. A person of love, like Jesus, a person, God of love. Demons has to be cast out from inside them for you to have that love of God. If you have not cast out the demons, have not received the Holy Spirit, you have not become a blessed person. They, they pray, they don't receive answers to prayers, and yet they lie saying that they received the Holy Spirit. How can they talk about love, these people? They have demon inside. They have wickedness and evil inside instead. How can they talk about love? Where does that love come forth? That's all lies. So that's why you go to a bookstore, there's no books to read. Because they pretend like it's not a lie, but they have written the books on it. Why be deceived? Because I'm a, I'm a fake. That's why I got deceived. That's why. It's hard to say. But up until, even up until now, in Korea, we're not able to even get a, a Nobel Prize even now. Who receives it the most by population of people? It's Israel, Israeli people of Israel. Why? Because they know the Bible more. And they do a lot of the Bible. So Korea, Republic of Korea, we know this mystery. So... This real love, us and our descendants will receive it. So we'll, uh, we'll help rule over the world. We'll be a person that can rule over uh, the world. The worldly things, you have a lot of PhDs. What you learn as lies, what good is it? So it's right today, but it's wrong tomorrow. What good is that? I'm not wrong, you may say. Surely, that's not the case. You'll be wrong. So less than a year, a new thesis will come out. The thesis that you wrote becomes fake, outdated. It's already passed. So with that, and yet people boast about that. Don't even say that to begin with. Galatians 4.9, God says, the uh, elemental and rudimentary. The PhD is us, elementary, it's worldly, it's elemental. So it's rudimentary. Don't be mistaken, think it's so, thinking it's so great. Each of you, the highest of all education, the, hi the highest strength and power of the Word of God is, is the Word of God, the Word of Jesus Christ. That's the highest and most strong. Each of you, be blessed. Receive, be a blessed person. Receive answers to your prayers. Today, you attend church, but you are suffering because you don't receive answers to your prayers. Let's end that today. What is this being chosen? What is it to be chosen? Those who are chosen, they're, re they're the ones that receive answers to prayers. Who's the one that chooses us? Psalms 4.3. The true God, Jehovah, He chooses us. You attend church. It's not that a pastor chooses you. Not that an elder chooses you. Pastors got together. Doesn't mean that they have become a chosen person. Only Jehovah, for His own sake, He chooses us. So, therefore, we can't just become a chosen person because we want to. Or, who is Jehovah? More than 5,000 verses, we have to properly know the Word of God. We have to repent it and properly know the Word of God. More than 5,000 verses of the Word of God. You have to more than 5,000 vocabulary, for example, then you won't be struggling to write if you know 5,000 words. Only that person is a person of prudence and deep understanding. Only that person knows the tr these words, true God and Jehovah, and knows Jesus and knows Christ. Not what I'm saying, but it's the Word of God that's saying this. So therefore, if you want to stand up here, more than 5,000 verses, you have to repent that. And more than 5,000 of the Word of God, you have to know it. So you become a person that can receive answers to your prayers. And where things have worked out for you, then sharing that as a witness, that's a sermon. That's Luke 24:48. It's, you're a fake if you talk about words where it doesn't it doesn't work for you. It doesn't apply for you. How weak you... Uh, Jeremiah 3.15. God's word says, only the person of prudence is, is a true pastor shepherd that God acknowledges outside of that. They're self-proclaimed pastors, not that whom God has acknowledged. It's the word of God has written it this way. Each of you, be a blessed person. When you are chosen, everything will work for you. Everything you pray for, only those who are chosen will receive answers to prayers. We here to receive that blessings. If you, what's being chosen and wearing the calling, that's when we're insulted in the name of Christ through four step repentance, when we're insulted in the name of Christ. So when you, after you do four step repentance, surely the demons, They'll be jealous of you being blessed and doing well. God's, when they'll be insulted with you becoming a child of God, daughter of God. You're, uh, they'll be jealous of the demon inside you having departed. They'll be jealous of your children being blessed. They'll be envious, jealous of you doing better and better. But even so, still be bold that it will work for you. You're here to receive this blessing. Each of you, I request of you, for even starting from today, in your notebook, if you do it in your notebook, 
it may be not enough space. So have a big sheet of paper uh, and write it down. A papyrus, if you don't know how to write it, just if you ask a person for a military, did you learn how to, if you write it like, a, a, draw it like a map or write it like a map, it's, you can write it. Ah, the path for us to receive answers to prayers and for us, the way for us to receive power is here. When you continue to write it down, document it, Deuteronomy 8.3, it becomes our nourishment. The miracles will happen when you talk, write it, jot all of this down. You have to receive answers to prayers. Where things are tough, when you don't receive answers to prayers, a hungry person, when they're not fed, and no matter how much you talk about food, they, they get starving. Oh, to what point? So that they'll boil, boil their own child. That's First King. Uh, Second King chapter 6, it's recorded. When you're hungry, you even eat your own child. So first, we have to receive answers to our prayers first. The pathway for us to be a blessed person here today. A who is the one that's chosen? Psalms 4.3. Let's read with one voice. Who is the one that chooses us? What then? No, but, but know that the Lord has set apart the godly man for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Amen. Each of you, starting from today, the words that I have requested of you, it is your nourishment. It is your spiritual food. Even, even if Pastor Park is not here, these works will do its miracle. Eat it. And when you write it and you continue to eat it and be nourished by it, when you eat a lot of vitamin A, then a lot of vitamin A will go into your body. If you eat a lot of worldly medicine, there's side effects to that. But God's words, no matter how much you eat it, there's no side effect. For example, if you play teen, tennis with your right hand, it becomes a little bit stronger, maybe a little bit longer. But later on, that's what happens. But convert, by the same token, similarly, if you eat a lot of the Word of God, it gives you a lot of effect of eating the Word of God. So you're doing well. You write it down. And when you continue to eat it, open it up and read it and eat it, then if you eat it more than 100 times, then you'll have the effect of 100 times you being nourished by it, and there's no negative adverse effects. So each of you, it's our nourishment. So when we write it and do it for one year, if you do it, if you write at least three verses a day, you'll have more than 1,000 verses that you have written. So Jesus went with his disciples for three and a half years, day and, day and night. So if you expand it out, it's seven years. So even though we counted as three and a half years, Jesus, he shared the word all day. So if he, they wrote even 10 to 20 verses if for three and a half years, it would be 20,000 verses. If you write 20,000 verses, the miracle of the uh, Corvina, yellow fi uh, Corvina fish, where it goes, you can see it. And somebody needs money. You know, the miracle of the whaling fish making somebody make millions of dollars or tens of millions of dollars. Miracles happen. Luke one thirty seven. the Word of God is power, so therefore miracles happen. The Word of God, when there's a lot of, the Word of God, when you write that, it has a lot of power, and you eat it. God's Word's more than 5,000 verse, then you, that's how you can be a person of prudence. You become a pastor that God acknowledges. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, it's recorded there. Here today, you and me. Not that we want to be chosen that it will work, but Jehovah God himself has to choose us. So it doesn't happen according to the way I want or we want. If we don't know God, it doesn't work. The true God, we have to know the Jehovah, the true God for things to work out. So you attend church and yet people don't even know the true God. They want to go to heaven, right? You want to go to heaven? John seventeen three. let's look that up. Who's the one that goes to heaven? You have to know the true God to go to heaven with God and the true God if you're not able, able to discern and distinguish and yet you're saying foolishly saying you're going to heaven the true God he's the one who chooses us and to those who are chosen wherever he pr whenever he prays he answers gives answers to your prayers if you go to church and you pray and you don't receive answers to prayers why attend almighty God uh, what would I not give you he said he gave his only son what would he not give us and yet why is it that you're not, you don't receive answers to your prayers then because you have not been chosen who is the one that chooses us? Not pastors or elders or deacons. It's not theologians who choose us, but true God, Jehovah, he, cho he chooses us. So if you don't know Jehovah, what happens? Then we'll be held bound instead. John 17, 3. Let's read with one voice. But know that the Lord has set apart the godly man for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Amen. Your whole life, your spiritual, everlasting life. Going to heaven, you want to receive everlasting life. 
then you have to know the true God. If you, uh, you have to know Jesus Christ, whom He has sent, the true God has sent. If you don't know the true God and you don't know Jehovah, and yet Jehovah choosing us, how would they know about Jehovah choosing us? So if you don't properly do four step repentance without doing it, then each of you, you're not able to receive answers to your prayers. You'll be Howard bound. You'll uh, bound to live an unlucky life, an unblessed life. That's why you have to be a blessed person he, for Him to give us the Holy Spirit. So it's a gift, He said. Acts 2.38 is recorded there. So the Holy Spirit is a gift from God. And they claim to have received it on their own. That kind of lies. Why go around telling them? And don't be even deceived. Don't even be deceived. And don't even tell those lies. Starting from today, become a blessed person. Where, whenever you pray, every time you pray, receive answers to your prayers. The demons, you may insult them. They may insult you, but you still have to receive answers to your prayers. Do you say amen? Only those who are chosen receive answers to your prayers. So when you do four-step repentance, the demons, they get jealous. And they insult you. Why? Because you have been chosen by God. When you are only those, when you are chosen by God, you receive answers to your prayers through the blood of Christ. When you do force that repentance, and when you receive forgiveness from God, and you are chosen, and you wear the calling, whatever you pray for, you'll be, receive answers to your prayers. We're here to receive that blessing that you and your descendants will, will be, will be blessed, will go to heaven, will do well. A blessed person, surely, each of you, let's be a blessed person so that you can receive answers to wherever you pray, whatever you pray for. That's the blessed person. That's the person that's insulted in the name of Christ. The person that receives prayers to whatever they pray for. Whatever they pray, that's the blessed person. Only that person that God gives the Holy Spirit to. God gives the gift to only them. But yet things haven't worked out for them. They make factions and divisions and they lie saying they received the Holy Spirit. Jude one let let's end with that. Those who cause factions and divisions, surely they will, God does not give the Holy Spirit to them. And those individuals, they're of the flesh, and surely they'll be hellward bound. Their children to the third and fourth generation, they'll be, they'll be really punished in a severe manner. So don't go that path. Oh, let's only become blessed people. Whatever we pray for, that let's receive answers to your prayers. Let's receive the Holy Spirit and through love be unified as one. Earlier, Ephesians 4, 3, we looked that up, but we didn't read it. If we have received the Holy Spirit, then we would be unified as one without any divisions or factions in the church. And yet they say they have, they're part of factions and divisions in the church, and they receive the Holy Spirit. Is that right or not? It's inconsistent. It does not, it's not right. They have demon inside, and they say, they mistakenly think they received the Holy Spirit. Jude 119, let's read that. If you know, this you know, my beloved brethren, but everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. These are the ones who cause divisions, worldly-minded, devoid of the Spirit. Jude 119, they'll be surely worthy of death. They don't have those who cause factions. They don't have the Holy Spirit. When they don't have the Holy Spirit, there's no love. When there's no love, they only have demon inside. When they receive the Holy Spirit, Matthew 12, 28. So you and me in our household will cast out all the demons. So your children will be free and receive liberty from the demons. Why is it that your children, they don't want to listen to you and you don't want to listen to your parents, you do strange things because you're being led by the demon inside you. The demons, how do you cast it out? Only through the Holy Spirit you can cast it out. The, the shamanistic demons cast out small demons and the bigger demons go, in, go inside. Don't pay money to do those kind of deeds where the small shamans cast out small demons. Later on you get smaller, bigger and bigger demons inside you. Later, the, the this, then you become a small shaman. Don't go that path. Only through the Holy Spirit you cast out demons. Ephesians 4, 3. Let's read that. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you become unified as one. When you become unified as one, you and I, there's no criticism, no, no uh, persecution. We don't insult others. We become unified as one. That's why there's one God, one Jesus. There's one baptism, one faith, one Holy Spirit. There, Ephesians 4, 3, let's read that. Read verse 4, it'll still be the same meaning. Let's read verse 3. Being diligent to preserve the, the pers preserve the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Being diligent to preserve the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you have factions and divisions. No, without factions and divisions, you'll be unified as one. So persevere to maintain this, to diligently preserve, preserve this. If you say you receive factions and if you're part of factions and divisions and you say you receive the Holy Spirit, that's a lie. So don't be deceived. Be on the watch out. Be careful. From now on, be a blessed person. Whatever. Let's receive answers to prayers every time we pray. Let's receive through four star repentance. So let's be chosen and receive answers to prayers that we can, whatever we pray for, that we can rule over it in the name 
that we can, I pray for, to you in the name of the Lord that we're, we live a life of faith to receive these blessings. Each of you, let's do well and be a witness of things working out in Jesus and the disciples. It, were, it was fulfilled in three and a half years. So starting from today, write it down. Even those who have not written up until now, I'll receive answers to prayers. We have to be chosen. So it's not by bribe, or, but Jehovah God, he himself chooses us. Once you realize this, aha, uh -huh. when I write it down later on, it's all you accumulate all the words where things work out then everything will work out without exception this inadequate servant it's not that I went that it will work but rather when you do according to the word of God it will work each of you be a witness after you become after you do well and receive answers to prayers be a witness for him You're, this is how my children did so well my family this is how they they did so well this is how well they did this is how much blessings was poured upon us when we prayed it worked when it prayed it worked let us all be witnesses of this you say amen surely that we would do this and when others ask when you're chosen you receive answers to prayer you can if you don't receive answers to prayers then you're already hardened hearted a wicked person is only demon that attaches it and calamities will follow them so your household you and your household you're in danger spot you, if you don't receive answers to your prayers, you're not a blessed person. You're at, in danger, rather. You're hardened hearted. Proverbs 13, 21. To the wicked, calamities follow them. Your household and your children, you and your children, be on the watch out. Quickly, be a blessed person instead. Then you receive answers to your prayers. And calamities will depart and receive answers to your prayers. We're here to receive that blessing today. So all of us, through forced our repentance, that we can all, I hope that you all receive this blessing. Uh, do you say amen? Whenever you pray, you receive answers to prayers. Why? This mystery enables us to become a child of God. Not when we just become a child of his, his child. He gives it all to us. John 13, 14, when we become his child, he will give it all to us. All the blessings to us, answers to prayers. The suffering that you have done until now, experienced until now, let's end that. Your children's suffering, let's end that. Between husband and wife, because of you, because of you. No matter how much you play ping pong, play, passing it on to each other, to the other person. But rather, when you say it's yours and become a blessed person, through Christ, we become a blessed person. What's Christ? Christ is 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. He is the light. When we become the, the light, the, the darkness, the demons in our house will depart. Curses and calamities will depart in our household. We'll receive only blessings. We all received, I hope you all received these blessings. You say, Amen. Let us pray. Father, you're truly so good. We have attended church. But we didn't know how to receive answers to prayers. And yet we attend the church not knowing that. Today when we're insulted in the name of Christ. Father, you said those who are, you will make us be chosen by you. And that you said you'll give us blessings today. Starting from, starting from today. Even if I, I'm insulted in the name of Christ. Help their wishes to be fulfilled. That us, their household, their children, that they'll be blessed. Our country, uh, help us uh, to live life being contributors to our country and to our people. In the name of Jesus. And thankfulness and blessings I pray. Amen. This this great news and joy, let's share it with the whole world.
Hallelujah! Each of you, this Holy Spirit, to the blessed person, only to that blessed person, the Holy Spirit comes. So through God's mystery, if you're not insulted, when the, has the Holy Spirit come upon you? So now, let's tell no more lies. Let's only change our faith. Let's be a blessed person that receive answers to prayers whenever we pray. What is your prayers? That he would hear all of our prayers. He, I am God Almighty, he says. That it will that it all happen according to our wishes. That we can live life giving him praise. When he formed us, Isaiah 43, 21. So live life just being joyful and praising him. That's what he wants us to live. Let's all receive this blessings and live a happy life. There's contentment in this world. There's Second Corinthians 3, 5. This contentment, God gives it to us as a gift. What a great promise this is. Let's receive it and live life abundantly. It, was, it doesn't work, you may say. Be a blessed person. Become a blessed person. Continue to protect that. Play, that continue to do force of repentance and don't go outside of Christ. Then, when you go into Christ, there's no other gospel. They're all fakes and curses. So, I pray in the name of the Lord that you all do well. Surely you'll do well. This is an adequate servant. Even greater strength and power will it work for you. So live life abundantly with contentment. What a great promise this is. When this happens, your children, automatically there'll be children who are godly children who honor their parents between husband and wife. Many times better, it will get better. It'll get better. Many times, many times over. You have to receive this to experience, you have to experience this. Receive it to know it. Don't worry, you're an unlucky person, you may say. When you become a blessed person, not only will you receive answers to prayers, the Holy Spirit will be upon you. Everything will work out. So you'll change your fate. With your children, to 10,000 generations, you will be blessed and do well. Let's live life with these blessings, being contributed to our society, and being content and happy, and having all the, receiving all the blessings and being able to handle it. I have faith that you'll do even better. Let us pray. Father of blessings, by the sins of my ancestors and my own sins, it's killing me even now. 99.9%, .9 that which have worked well, then makes it uh, all um, destroyed, destroying the good works because of the sins of my ancestors. Now we want to be chosen. This force that repentance, the mystery of Christ, through that, help us to be chosen, that we will receive answers to prayers, whatever we pray for. So as a blessed person, help us to live only as that blessed person, that I'll do well, that my children will do well, my descendants will do well, that will be witnesses to many, that will be contributors to our society and to our country, and to help save the world to peace, to handle these incredible works that please enable us to live in that manner. Now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and God's infinite love and the communion of the Holy Spirit this hour on as a help us to have a be as the a start as a new beginning, as a blessed person that will receive answers to whatever pray we pray for. Father God, you said you'll give it all to us, to their spirits, to their descendants, to their families, and onto the business that they do, and onto the people of Korea, that you'll be with them now and forever. I pray in the name of the Lord. Amen.